ever considered what time truly is beyond the ticking hands of a clock? Time. It's a word we hear and use every day. It's a fundamental part of our lives, a constant that we plan our day, our lives around. Yet if asked to define what time truly is, many of us might find ourselves at a loss for words. It's a concept we all understand, yet when we try to explain it, it eludes us, slipping away like sand through our fingers. The paradox of time is that while it's omnipresent, it's also elusive. It's a constant companion, yet a perpetual mystery. We're immersed in it, yet we cannot see it, touch it, or hold it. We can only feel its relentless march, always forward, never backward. Time has been a subject of fascination for as long as humans have walked the earth. It has intrigued philosophers who have pondered over its inexorable flow. Scientists have grappled with its complexities, its relation to space, its role in the universe. Thinkers from every corner of the world have contemplated time, attempting to unravel its secrets to understand its essence. The ancient Greeks had two words for time, chronos and kairos. Kronos referred to sequential or chronological time, the ticking away of seconds, minutes, and hours on a clock. Kairos, on the other hand, was about the right moment, the opportune time. This distinction itself points to the layers, the complexities of time. Time is a riddle, a puzzle that we're all trying to solve. It's a journey that we're all a part of, a journey that moves at the pace of seconds ticking on a clock, yet encompasses the history of the universe itself. Time is more than just the ticking of a clock or the turning of a calendar page. It's an integral part of the fabric of the universe, a dimension in its own right. It's a concept that is both simple and complex, both tangible and intangible. It's a concept that is as old as the universe, yet as new as the present moment. So let's dive into the depths of time, a concept so familiar yet so mysterious. In the realm of physics, time holds a unique standing. It's not just a mere ticking of seconds on a clock or a flip of pages on a calendar. It's a fundamental strand in the fabric of our universe. Time underpins the laws of physics. It's the silent rhythm to which particles dance, the unseen conductor orchestrating the cosmic ballet of stars and galaxies. It's as vital to the workings of the universe as matter and energy. Enter space-time, a concept that revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Picture this. Instead of time being a separate entity, it's interwoven with space, forming a four-dimensional fabric that stretches, bends, and warps under the influence of mass and energy. It's like a trampoline where a heavy ball creates a dip that smaller balls roll towards. That's gravity. That's space-time. Now let's take things up a notch. What if I told you that time is not absolute? This is where Einstein's theory of relativity comes into play. According to Einstein, time is relative. It can speed up or slow down depending on how fast you're moving or how strong the gravitational field around you is. Imagine you're on a spaceship zipping around at near light speed. Time for you would slow down compared to someone stationary on Earth. When you return, you might find that while you've aged only a few years, decades have passed on Earth. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's science fact. This is the mind-bending reality of time in physics. It's not linear, not constant, but a dynamic, mutable entity. It's affected by speed, gravity, and the curve of space-time. In essence, time in physics is not a solid constant but a flexible entity, shifting and bending with the universe. Philosophers, on the other hand, have a different take on time. The concept of time has had philosophers scratching their heads for millennia. Where physicists see a dimension, philosophers see a subjective experience, a human construct, a mental phenomenon. It's all about how we perceive and interpret the world around us. Take, for instance, the concept of now. It's a moment that's always with us, and yet it's always slipping away. The present moment is perpetually becoming the past. This fleeting nature of now has led to some fascinating philosophical debates. Some philosophers argue that only the present moment, the now, is real. The past is nothing but a collection of memories, and the future is nothing more than a set of possibilities. They're like ghosts, intangible and unreal. This view is known as presentism. Others, however, disagree. They propose that the past, present, and future are all equally real, existing in a sort of timeless landscape. This theory, known as eternalism, suggests that all moments in time are equally now from their own perspective. Then there's the idea of time's arrow, the direction in which time moves from past to future. But is this progression of time inherent to the universe or is it a product of our human consciousness? Some philosophers suggest that the arrow of time is a result of our subjective experience, our perception of cause and effect, rather than an objective feature of the universe. 
And let's not forget about the age-old philosophical question, if time didn't exist, would we still get old? Or in other words, is time really passing? Or is it just us? These philosophical interpretations of time challenge our understanding of reality. They probe into the nature of existence and consciousness, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can know. Thus, in philosophy, time becomes a question of perception and consciousness. And what about time in the biological sense? Picture this, it's the middle of the night and you're in a deep slumber. Suddenly your body jolts you awake. You glance at the clock and it's precisely 3 a.m. How did your body know? Well, that's the magic of our biological clocks. These internal timekeepers govern the rhythms of life, from the sleep-wake cycle to hunger pangs, even to the regeneration of our cells. They're the unsung heroes of our existence, quietly ticking away in the background, keeping us in sync with the world around us. But biological time doesn't stop at maintaining our daily rhythms. It also plays a crucial role in our aging process. Over time, our cells deteriorate, leading to the physical manifestations of aging. Our skin becomes less elastic, our hair turns gray, and our bodies don't bounce back as quickly as they used to. This is the ticking of biological time, a constant reminder that we are living, breathing organisms subject to the laws of life and death. And then there's the intriguing concept of time perception. Have you ever noticed how time seems to fly when you're engrossed in a thrilling novel or a gripping movie? but drags when you're stuck in a boring meeting or waiting for a bus. This is because our perception of time can vary dramatically based on our mental state, age, and the activities we're engaged in. A child might feel that summer vacation flies by, while an adult could perceive the same period as significantly longer. It's fascinating how our minds can manipulate our sense of time, isn't it? But let's not forget about the role of time in evolution. Over countless generations, species have adapted and evolved in response to their environment. This process, driven by the relentless march of time, has shaped the diversity of life on Earth. So, in the grand scheme of things, time in biology is far from just a simple ticking clock. It's a symphony of rhythms, a series of cycles, a cornerstone of life itself. In biology, time is a rhythm, a beat to which life dances. So, what is time? We've journeyed through its many facets, Diving into the realms of physics, philosophy, and biology, each offering a unique lens to view this enigma. In physics, we've seen how the ticking of the universe is a dance of relativity, where the speed and gravity twist and turn the flow of moments. Philosophy has led us through the labyrinth of the human mind, exploring the subjective nature of time, its perception, and its impact on our existence. And in the biological sphere, we've discovered how time is coded into our very DNA, influencing our life cycles and rhythms. Yet despite these insights, we are still left with an intricate puzzle. Time, in all its complex glory, remains a subject of ongoing exploration. It's a concept that stretches beyond our understanding, hinting at mysteries yet to be unearthed. Time, as we see, is an intricate tapestry, woven with threads of science, philosophy, and life itself.